Is Poland an affordable country to live? What is the cost of living in Poland? Is there any job opportunities for foreigners? And truly, is Poland a good place for expats, retirees, or just for someone who would want to move into Europe? Hi, this is Lucy, and it is my happy planet. On this channel, we are talking a lot about future events such as retirement. My goal is to find a place, a city and a country where I would love to retire. If you have similar goals or you just love exploring new places around the world, welcome and subscribe. You don't want to miss new travel videos. And let's start from the beautiful Poland. When you are thinking about accommodations, this is all about the price. And if you'd love to find a country in Europe which is one of the cheapest ones to live, in Western Europe this is definitely Poland. You can find a wide range of flats, from affordable to semi-expensive. And of course, expensive ones are in the city centers of major by popularity and population cities in Poland. There is a great invention in Poland. This is a name for little flats which are perfect for someone who doesn't know why he or she would love to live or just to understand whether the city suits their needs or not. These flats are called Kavalerka. This is actually a little studio, around 20 to 25 square meters, sometimes 30. And this is just a great starting point of exploring Poland. And you may ask where to find a flat or a house, of course, online. There are pretty sites which are literally updated every five minutes. And you would want to be on that very first five minutes reviews, calls and messages because the best locations and the best flats are gone very fast or you may just have an assistance of companies which are helping realtors or just company, realtor company to help to find your flat or your dreams. Let's talk a little bit about cost of living. There is a great video on this channel, the latest one. This is the cost of living in Krakow and this is literally all about little parts of the budget of the price and money you need for the whole month. I advise you to watch this. And in this video, we will talk really, really fast about cost of living. Yes, polls will say that the cost of living is not affordable and, of course, is not cheap. This is true, because the salaries aren't that great at all. But if we are comparing the average salary, the whole cost of living, this is pretty affordable country to live. Of course, if you have tight budget, don't rent in the city center of any city and just keep counting your budget and don't spend money here and there and you will be really good. Grocery, clothing, furniture, transport cost less than even nearby countries. And uh, if we will compare just grocery or food prices, you may find that even near border countries of Poland, such as Slovakia, Slovenia, Czech Republic, you will understand that the groceries cost 50% more there than in Poland. And usually people from borders go into Poland for grocery shopping. And there is the reason for that. And on top of that, food and products 
often are very good quality so if you are moving to Poland as a family or you just really love good quality food this country is for you what about jobs if you are going to Poland not as a retiree or just even a retiree and you still love to work there is plenty of employment opportunities of course for some people without knowing the language you may find that only low quality jobs are affordable but this is pretty much good scenario because learning a language takes a couple of years and then you will be good to work within your speciality if that's the right amount of time to work out your diploma thing and if you are relocating having a high priority specialization and if the company helps where you will be working to relocate you will find that most of the problems with the job with the relocation are covered and you will get plenty of help which is awesome yes salary is lower but the lower is the cost of living and if you think that having twice as much salary in poland will get you it was as high standard of living in other countries of europe this is not quite right because there are quartiles and it really doesn't matter to which country you are relocating you need to earn at the third quartile definitely being in the medium or in the second one will not give you up a standard type of living and you will be like every other person so it really depends on what you're expecting and how you love to live your life but let's stop talking about the heavy stuff money is good but money doesn't bring happiness and what's more important your lazy time and free time is more important than ever and what is great about poland is you really need your lifetime to see all of the greatest places this country has to offer and this is if you'll go to vacation each and every week so if you're looking for a country with affordable transportation with lots of places to see poland is your country national parks forests lakes mountains and the sea, yes, it is cold, but it's not less beautiful. And if you love to swim in the lower temperature sea, this sea will really excite you. Lots of very historical cities, such as Krakow, Warsaw, Gdansk, Zakopane, will surprise you, and you will find that coming back each time to the city brings even more memories, happiness, photos and more quality time with your loved ones. Another great thing about Poland is its climate and if you love to experience all four seasons, Poland is for your snow winters, beautiful green, springs full of blossom, semi-hot depending on the region summer with long rainy days and finally my beautiful season of all four seasons it is fall all beautiful colors this should you expect when coming to live in poland golden fall in polish sounds like złota jesień and this is the season when the leaves are falling and changing colors. How more beauty this could even sound. My personal pro of Poland and of any country, I would love to live at my retirement and typically live in my life. This is cuisine. I really need to love food. 
And it's not about some special dishes, it's about simple dishes, usually it's like home style, village style. I really need to appreciate the simplest cuisine and this should be affordable to cook from home and sounds really similar to what I used to. And if you are talking about Polish cuisine, it's full of traditional dishes and it's really one of the best cuisines of the world. So, whether you are visiting Poland or relocating, you should try all national dishes of Poland. And let's find out what is. This is pierogi. This could be dumplings with literally any fillings in the world. The next thing is really delicious. It is golonpki which is literally a cabbage roll with meat, rice and spices. Then we are coming to bigas. It's really hard to explain the flavor because you should just try it. And in general this is cabbages, sausages and a really really long recipe. Of course at home you will not be following that long recipe if you're not foreigner, but you can taste it and this is really different and really beautiful flavors and not, not ordinary. Then we are coming to kielbasa. Kielbasa, it's literally sausages. It's really popular dish anywhere in Europe and you will find those sausages on every single market or market squares some occasions such as Christmas, such as Easter or just if there is some massive gatherings you will find those sausages. And of course Sernik. Sernik is Polish type of cheesecake. It is different but it's still flavorful and most delicious. And it's really easy to cook at home. The cheese is pretty affordable. And it's really easy dish to cook, even if you don't love to cook. And let's talk a little bit about transportation. You have heard all of the jokes about German trains. It's not like that in Poland, but sometimes happens. Why? Because there is a lot of reconstruction on the road, on the train road, exactly. And this is awesome, because the newer is the whole transportation system, the faster trains are going and the smoother is your experience. Sometimes you may have delays for 30 minutes, but it could be kind of like 1 out of 20 journeys usually, but this is not that bad as in Germany. If you're talking about other types of transportations, my love goes for trams. If you would be talking about some reading, whether this city is the best for me or not, in future videos we will talk like that we will score different cities not only in Poland but wherever we will be traveling together I will score to my taste different cities and it's really my honest honest opinion that I will be adding plus one score to each city whether they have good trams or just trams or not I don't know what is going on with trams, I just love them. For me this is the best experience ever, because usually trams have priority on the road, so buses are staying still, cars are staying still even, cyclists should give the priority to trams and of course pedestrians, and this is my perfect perfect part of traveling by trams. And you will find a lot of cities in Poland have them. And overall transportation system is pretty awesome. 
you're just using the app seeing how much minutes you have until your number of bus or just tram and then you are traveling usually if it's not really really snowy with zero delays which is really awesome and if you are thinking about cars roads are in good condition and my personal pro is that usually when i'm trying to find out how much hours or minutes it is to travel from a to b by car or just by public transportation usually the number is pretty much the same of course there are some differences for different scenarios but if it's a popular route these minutes or hours will be approximately the same and for me this is a huge pro Next part is, I think one of the most important when you are relocating to Poland with children or you're just planning to have children or you just really want to have a good retirement years, this is greenery. Poland is extremely green and this is really awesome. Cities vary from being too greeny or just greeny, but literally big parks, national parks, just parks, parks for dogs, parks for walking, parks where you can ride a bicycle, where you can walk for hours. This is all about Poland and if you are thinking about whether this will be possible for you to walk by foot, not being under the direct sun, 10,000 steps per day. Poland is your type of destination. It's really easy to go doing errands just to walk with airpods or just listening to the nature. So these were our currently pros of living in Poland. I advise you to subscribe because we will be scoring in the nearest future different cities in Poland and we will find out, of course, by my truest opinion, which city is the best to retire, to relocate for long staying and which city should improve some of the points. And this was it for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon on this channel. Bye!